Shalom and greetings from our Lord Jesus Christ. In our subsequent study or presentation, we did accountability. Kindly revisit the previous videos. If this is the first time you are watching this streaming or you are watching this project it's a series i started by looking at the introduction and then i did i, I have started with the foundation of which i'm currently on i did accountability responsibility generosity and then we are now looking at sustainability i will reading leviticus 25 i'll just read some two verses and then you explain sustainability so as a steward we are to ensure that resources are available for future generations leviticus 25 describes the year of jubilee in which the land is given rest and resources are redistributed to prevent long-term inequalities and depletion Okay, so Leviticus 25. Leviticus 25. Leviticus 25. Now, it's an instruction talking about rest for individuals, rest for the land, rest for all the things God created. This were some of the instructions given to him. While Moses was on Mount Sinai, the Lord said to him, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you have entered the land, I am giving you. The land itself must observe a Sabbath rest before the Lord every seventh year. Okay. Now, um, you can read all the chapter chapter 25 to get the whole concept of um, sustainability now as stewards one of the principle is to be able to sustain all that we've been given tangible and intangible resources now if you have material wealth if you have a skill you need to use it in such a way that even when you are not available, the tradition or the legacy continues. So, in your pursuit as a manager or a steward, make sure you are not consuming everything. Make sure you are not keeping everything. Make sure that when you are not around or when you are not available, someone should be able to fit in your shoe to pursue the course. Make sure the land that you have, just as the Lord gave the instruction to Moses, make sure that you are keeping the land. You are not overusing it. You are not making it deplorable or you are not destroying it sustainability or maintaining something you need to give regular repairs regular checks and balance you need to give it rest you as an individual you need to sustain your body you need to sustain all the giftings that you have so the sustainability starts from you as an individual don't overwork yourself and die even as your time is not up god is not going to be happy about that don't abuse or overwork the giftings that you have but you should make sure or you should have it in mind that i am using all my giftings or i am using myself 
as a benchmark to sustain everything that I have. Everything. If God has entrusted people into your care, make sure you're able to sustain them. Don't destroy them. This is one of the principles of sustainability. Even whilst you are perceiving or even whilst you are managing the things, as a good manager, you are to multiply what you have. Now, in the multiplication, make sure whilst you leave, it's still multiply. There should be a system to multiply it even whilst you are not around. Now, the Lord said, we should what? Keep until the ground. You are to keep it and till it. You are not to destroy it or abuse it. Whatever that you have in your hand, be intangible or intangible. People surrounding you, the material wealth, money, name it. You need to sustain everything. This goes a long way to send a word of caution to leaders. Now, the natural resources that we have, the capacities or the powers that we've been mandated with should be used in such a way to guide and keep things, to sustain things, not to destroy them. You see, when you go to my country, how the resources, the natural resources, which are supposed to be a blessing to us, has become cursed. The way and manner we are digging holes, we are digging pits for natural resources. The way and manner we are using harmful chemicals to destroy the ecosystem, our water bodies, our forest, our lands. We don't care. We are just looking for our gold, we are just looking for our minerals. Now, this principle is telling us we being managers or we being stewards of God resources, we are to what? Sustain it. The way and manner we are doing things, it doesn't make us sustain it. Rather, it is making us destroy us. In the illustration Jesus gave, in the time of reality, or in the time of accountability, you'll be asked, or you cut all things will come to light. Even in the life here, the way and manner we are treating the tangible and intangible resource in our hands, if you are unable to sustain them. That means there comes a time we are going to experience lack. Lacking will also go a long way to us affect us in a negative way. It is going to affect our generations born and unborn. God is so intelligent. That is why he's giving us all these steps to give us the kind of quality life we need here. On earth, that is why Jesus showed us to pray that our Father who art in heaven, he said, your kingdom come as it is in heaven. Now, if you look at the picture or how heaven is depicted, we are supposed to what? Replicate it on earth here. It is the first priority of every believer in the Christians. It says it is the first priority of any individual who is being created in the likeness and the image of God. God is expecting us to sustain things. Just as we are enjoying, you should remember that it was somebody who didn't destroy it and then it has come to us. In the same way, 
we are being admonished. We are being commanded to sustain it so that the next person will also come and enjoy it. This is the gospel. God bless you. My name is Pastor Richmond Amankwa. You can comment, share. If you have any question, you can ask me. You can also visit my website, pastoramankwa.com. Shalom. God be with you. We will continue with the next key principles. We have some two more to go. Bye-bye and blessings.